Hello everyone, Brewmaster here with another great AO review. Um, I've got something that's pretty special and it's um, brewed not far from where I live. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, this one is from the Blue Mountain Brewery. It is called Dark Hollow. Better there. Um, let's see what the bottle says. Imperial Stout aged in oak bourbon barrels. Now I know they, uh, this is, uh, what is this? This is brewed in Afton, Virginia. Um, Nelson County, Virginia. Uh, it's aged for 100 days in um, American oak bourbon barrels. Um, it comes in at 10% ABV, 70 IBUs for the bitterness. Um, I've had this before and I really wanted to test it out for you guys and let you guys see it because I really do like this brewery. Um, Let's see, I'll read you a little bit of what this says. I'm not going to read it all because it's pretty long. Um, the mystery of a great beer challenges the spirit of adventure in all who seek a higher level to this ancient brew. Dark Hollow blends the miracle of two crafts, brewing and distillation, to create a work greater than the sum of its parts. Our Imperial Stout has been aged in charred American oak bourbon barrels, patiently breathing in and out of the wood, gaining complexity, depth, and character. Um... This bottle is 1.9.4 ounces. I believe that's what 25.4 fluid ounces. Let's show you the cap there. I can let you see it. Um, let's see here. The barrel house, which is I believe it's formed by some of the original um, founders of Blue Mountain Brewery. They started a separate thing called the Barrel House. I believe they're still. I mean, it's still, you know, it's part of Blue Mountain, but they've kind of formed their own thing. Um, the cork is dated. Best by July 2014. So this is really fresh. Um, I got one of these the other day, and I had a little trouble getting that cork out. You see people on TV just squeezing it with their thumb. I tried it. That wasn't really happening too much. So what I do, I kind of twist it. It's not easy though. This is a tough one to open. I'll get it in just a second here. Not a lot of smoke. It's a big cork. <laughs> As you can see, that was a pretty good ways down into there. Um, these bottles are a are a really thick, thick glass. Um, it's a heavy, heavy bottle. Let's go ahead and get a pour and see what this one looks like. I've got a, uh, a big snifter. I figured this was probably about the best thing to use for this. You can get a lot of smell out of this. Just a second. I like it to show what I'm pouring. If you can see, that is a really black. I mean, I'm looking through light and I can see a little bit of color, but really, not not a whole lot and that was just through the pour now through the actual glass I'm holding it up to a very bright light as you can see the shadow falling on my face and there is nothing I mean I see nothing through this it is pitch pitch black no hints of amber or highlights around the edges like you normally see this has none of that now as you can see I poured kind of aggressively and um, it didn't get much of a head if you pour really, really aggressive, you can get a good head, but this not this does not have too much of one. Um, it uh, is a really thick looking brew. Let's go ahead and get a nose for this one and see what it smells like. Hmm. Um, you get right off just a, a smack in the face of just really dark roasted malt. You definitely get that uh, bourbon, bourbon smell for sure. Mm. I'm not even a big fan of bourbon, honestly. Um, bourbon whiskey is not my favorite at all. Um, I would much rather have scotch, but 
bourbon barrel aged stouts. You mix, you know, I guess you mix bourbon with a stout, and I, and I really do like that. Uh, every one that I've tried so far, I've, I've really liked. Um, there's kind of a sweet caramel kind of smell. Um, it does smell a little bit bitter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I think you can get a little bit of vanilla smell, and I believe that comes from the oak. Mainly, you get a lot of uh, heavy malt, that bourbon, um, the sweet caramel smell. Uh, um, a little bit of hoppiness, a real like deep, earthy kind of a scent. Um, it smells really good. I'm going to go ahead and get a taste of this and tell you what this one tastes like. Wow. Um, the taste goes right along with the smell. Just more so. I mean, it's it's a very, very malty. And there's a lot of bourbon. That hundred days that they age this, it really, it really, really gets a lot of that uh, that bourbon flavor. Um, I smell, I really smell vanilla in the scent, but I don't get a lot of vanilla taste. It's more the oak, I think, more gives it this really smooth, it helps smooth out the alcohol. You can get, you can taste a little bit of the alcohol with this, but it's not one of those real, really boozy Imperial Stouts. It's, it's, uh, really smooth, um, that bourbon makes it kind of sweet, roasty. It's just, it's a very heavy mouthfeel. This is a really, really thick um, Imperial Stout, as you would expect. Um, I've only had two bourbon barrel aged beers, and uh, I think this one is my favorite. I won't say what the other one is because I want to I wanna review it later. I didn't review that one when I had it. Um, this is a, uh, I don't know if you can really tell from this video but I have pretty big hands and that's a that's a big snifter I mean I probably shouldn't have poured so much but oh well <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you guys like bourbon barrel age um, beers of any sort but um, I'm a pretty big fan they have another one that I'm gonna try soon I may even go and pick it up tomorrow and maybe try to review it tomorrow it's called uh, local species and it is a it's a regular ale that is aged in bourbon barrels. I'm actually really tempted to see what it tastes like. It's supposed to be fairly hoppy. Um, I'm just I'm really curious to see what what a hoppy ale tastes like with that bourbon flavor. Um, like I said, I, I hope to get that one soon. Maybe even tomorrow, and uh, maybe you'll see that review really soon. Um, it's really hard to describe this. This thing is it's really a complex, a very tasty. Stout, um, definitely not something you would session. Um, this one barrel, or this one barrel, I'm sorry, you know, it might as well be a barrel for how big it is. But this one bottle is definitely enough for a person. Um, I may even let this warm up a bit and come back and let you guys know. Um, I'm not that great at all the editing stuff yet, so I'm not sure if I will. Um, let me go back and just a quick review. A very heavy mouthfeel. Um, you don't get a lot of the alcohol, even though it's 10.0. Um, it's very, very rich and thick. It's got a really smooth um, malt characteristic. I mean, it's just it's really heavy malt, but it's smooth. Rolls right into that bourbon and that sweet caramel. Um, a little bit of vanilla flavor. Um, maybe even some really dark coffee. Uh, there's definitely a little aftertaste of some like espresso some really dark roasted coffee um, all in all very tasty if you guys get a chance try Blue Mountain Breweries Dark Hollow it's really worth a try it's very highly rated and uh, I think you'll enjoy it as always if you have any questions please leave them in the comment box below please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already 
Um, any constructive criticism is welcomed. Um, I try to improve these videos in any way I can, and these videos are for you guys, so cheers.